Hi there, everyone. I just wanted to take a quick couple of minutes to introduce you to the Cell Dive Multiplex Imaging Solution. So first, what is multiplex imaging and what can it do for researchers? It's probably easier to start with explaining what traditional imaging is for human tissues. In the past, single tissue sections might be stained chromogenically for up to five markers. And if additional markers were of interest, serial sections might be used. But getting good spatial resolution for a lot of markers is a challenge with this technique. Alternatively, genomic approaches such as RNA-seq can deliver expression information on a lot of biomarkers at once, but much of the spatial information is lost. So CellDive is an end-to-end -end solution that can visualize up to 60 plus biomarkers using an iterative staining process to deliver high resolution spatial information on many more markers than traditional imaging could achieve. And this is becoming especially critical in the cancer field, for example, where a thorough understanding of many different proteins in the tumor microenvironment is needed for new therapeutic development. Multiplex imaging with cell dive can help to predict patient outcomes, improve patient stratification, and aid the understanding of patient molecular and genomic data. So how does cell dive actually work? Put simply, cell dive is an iterative staining process that uses a gentle dye and activation solution to repeatedly stain and de-stain a single piece of tissue. And it achieves this using custom study management software, onboard and automated imaging and image corrections, and an open platform that allows the system to work within your lab's needs. Slides are loaded into the imager, tissue regions are selected, and a multi-round process of biomarker staining with conjugated antibodies, followed by inactivation and staining with new antibodies begins. The images are automatically registered and stitched and made ready for immediate analysis. So using this process, many different biological pathways that might only be analyzed separately can be viewed in concert. For example, within this colon adenocarcinoma tissue, we're able to look at a panel of immune markers, metabolic markers, and apoptotic markers all at once, and learn lots of new biology about this tissue and the relevant disease state. We describe cell dive as an open multiplexing platform because you can choose the staining workflow that works for you, such as bench top staining, staining with a liquid handler, or staining in an auto stainer. And the thing that makes that possible is ClickWell. ClickWell was initially invented to remove repetitive cover slipping from the process but it actually opens the door to automation of various kinds. And what's more, ClickWell increases your options for scaling up your workflow to many slides at once. I don't have time to go into tremendous detail today, but one of those options for automation and scaling is the bioassembly bot by Advanced Solutions that was developed specifically for our instrument. It allows the researcher to automate staining and dye inactivation for up to 15 ClickWells and reduce the overall workflow to just two user touch points. And to give you a sense of what this looks like in practice, here's a short video, a little bit sped up, the BAB seamlessly integrates with the overall cell dive solution. It intelligently optimizes staining and incubation timings to achieve 100% duty cycle for the imager, and has a number of convenient features to improve staining, such as integrated sample rocking and reagent chilling. I hope I was able to give you just a taste of what cell dive can deliver for multiplex imaging studies, and I'm happy to be here to answer any questions. Thank you.